Hey, what's up? In the last video, we added a web view to our Reddit app. So when I click on this, it will actually open up a web view. Now we're going to attach, or we're going to add a, a dialog box for when we click on the comments to leave replies, or when we click on this reply button up here. So to get started, we'll go and create a new layout file, and I'm going to call it comment input dialog. If you also, just kind of a side note here, if you notice the way that I'm naming these layout files, the activities, I always start with activity, and then I do sort of a description of what it is. So activity comments is the comments activity, activity main is the main activity. Um, this web view layout, I actually probably should have called web view activity since it's activity to um, keep with the convention that I'm using. So I'll actually refactor that and call it web view activity just to stay consistent. And um, the dialog box, since this is going to be a pop-up dialog box, it's not going to be an activity and it's not going to be a fragment, I'm going to append dialog to the very end of it. So anyway, let's get started with designing this layout. We'll convert this to a relative layout and let's get rid of this orientation. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a big box here that's going to have an input section for the comment. And then down below, I'm just going to have a button. So it's going to be relatively simple. I'm just going to use a linear layout. I'm going to go match parent, match parent. And I'm going to do it a vertical orientation. So vertical. And I'm just going to use a weight sum and uh, declare the sum as 100. And the first parameter inside of the linear layout is going to be an edit text. And I'm going to set the width to match parent and then the height to 0 dp since we're going to be using a weight sum. And give it an ID of dialog comment and we'll do layout weight of 90. So it's going to occupy 90% of the total, the total weight sum available. And just to force the text to the very top, whoops, force the te text to the very top of the layout, I'm going to uh, set the gravity to top. And I think that'll be it. Now let's create our button. And the button width is going to be wrap content. And once again, the height is going to be 0 dp. We can set our weight to 10 dp. So it's just going to occupy that last little bit down at the bottom. We'll set some text. I'll say just post comment. And we'll give it an ID of button post comment. Do text size of 10 S, oops, 10 SP. And we're gonna do a bunch of material design stuff later, but uh, so I'm just gonna basically get this in and it's gonna look like crap, but we're gonna clean everything up later. Let's do a little bit of a margin, oops, margin bottom and just do 5 DP and margin left 5 dp and margin top of 5 dp i don't know why i can't see that button right now oh because i set this to dp let's just do 10 there we go now i can see it okay and i think that's going to be it other than the material design stuff that i'm going to add later i'm just going to add a hint here to say your comment and that's going to be basically it Pretty, pretty simple layout, pretty basic. Of course, like I said before, we're gonna make this look much better later on. So let's close that. And we don't need web view activity, we can close that too. Now we're gonna go into uh, comments activity and we're gonna go into the init post method here. And down where we declare this thumbnail, we're gonna actually attach an onclick listener to the reply button. Set onclick listener, new onclick listener. And let's just log the click like we always do. And um, oh, we don't actually have the comment ID yet. So I'd like to I'd like to print that out. That's okay. Just for now, we're just going to log that we clicked the reply. Just um, we're not we're not actually going to set it up so that we can leave a reply yet, since we still have to integrate our uh, ability to log into our Reddit account. So at this point, I just want to get the dialog box popping up, and we're not going to be able to leave a comment yet since we're not logged in yet anyway. So I'm just going to get the dialog box set up and actually popping up. So in here, I'm going to create a method. I'm going to call it uh, get user comment and it's not going to take anything right now later we're going to write it so that it takes the actual uh, comment id so we'll go down here and we'll go oops, private like a type private void get user comment and it's going to take nothing for right now and inside here we're going to create a dialog so we'll go final dialog dialog equals new dialog and we pass the context so comment activity dot this and import the dialog library. And we're gonna set a title to the dialog. I spelled that wrong, dialog. 
dialog dot set title dialog very creative I know and then we're going to set the content view so go dialog dot set content view r dot layout dot damn it r dot layout dot the comment input dialog and that's going to actually reference the uh, layout file that we just created this input dialog or yeah input dialog layout and now I don't want it to occupy the entire screen I kind of just want it to sit in the middle section of the screen and there's a number of ways to do this this is just the simplest way that I found so we can declare an integer as the width and an integer as the height and set it manually so we go get resources uh, and then inside here we go get display metrics and then dot width pixels and we can do times the the percentage that we want it to occupy so if I only want the width to I, if I want this dialog to only occupy 95% of the width I can just do 0.95 in there and for the height it's gonna be very similar except we're gonna do uh, height pixels so very simple it's a very very simple way to do this there was a number of other ways but they were a little bit more complicated and you, yeah it was this is just the easiest way that I found so the dialog dot uh, get window and then dot set layout and then we can pass the width and we can pass the height and I think this is a null pointer yeah but we we shouldn't have to worry about this yeah I'm not I'm not even gonna surround it in a try catch this error should never get thrown so I'm not going to worry about that and we'll just do dialog.show so in a nutshell this is going to inflate our our um, dialog box that we want to pop up so just to test this before we go further I'm going to call it inside of our reply button and I also want to call it whenever we click on a post itself on a on actual comment itself so this is where we're going to want to attach an on click listener to our list view inside of our init method if we scroll down to the bottom to where our list view is being declared we can go list view dot set on item click listener new on item click listener and then we just want to get the user comment so get user comment this is just going to be for testing to make sure the dialog box is popping up as it should so let's run it and let's do some testing okay let's choose a subreddit refresh the feed and I'll just choose a post at random looks good let's test the reply button first looks like that opened up and it looks pretty good I think I don't know um, obviously you can you can play with the dimensions if you don't want it to occupy 95 percent on each one of these um, actually I think I'm going to decrease the height a bit I'll change it to like 0.6 because the width is fine but I want it to be a little bit shorter that's kind of big we don't really need all that room to post a comment so that'll be fine and now let's test by clicking somewhere else there we go okay so now let's test clicking on a comment or a reply itself or yeah a comment and it looks like that's working too so our box is popping up as we expect cool I'm gonna stop the video here this was just gonna be kind of a short one to get our dialog box ready to go and the next one we're gonna start with the reddit authentication stuff so that we can actually reply to comments and uh, leave leave comments on particular posts don't forget to leave a like, follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.